I want to say good Saturday evening, everyone. Again, I'm Dewan Hogarth. Thanks for joining us tonight. That incident happened uh, just before 1015 this morning near the intersection of Hillsborough Street at Boylan Avenue. Authorities say a driver lost control of this white truck you see here and was simply unable to stop. You can see in this video several people, including a couple of Raleigh police officers, uh, rushing in to try to get that truck to stop there. The truck uh, hitting a young girl dancing in the parade with the CC and Company Dance Complex. Uh, she was seriously injured and later died from uh, those injuries. Authorities say no one else was injured in that accident, uh, and that driver has been identified as 20-year-old Landon Glass. He has since been interviewed, arrested, and is cooperating with police tonight. Uh, he's been charged with misdemeanor death by motor vehicle, careless and reckless, and proper equipment, unsafe movement, and carrying a firearm in a parade. We have our Cindy Bay joining us live tonight in Raleigh from that scene of the accident. Uh, Cindy, just absolutely heartbreaking, not only just for that family, but also uh, for all those in attendance who watched it happen right in front of their eyes. Yeah, Dewan, and I echo that on how it's just heartbreaking for the CC and Company Dance Complex, whom we saw just yesterday rehearsing for today and practicing for hours at a parking lot. They say they never expected to experience a day like today. Many people reeling from the shock. A long-awaited parade turned deadly. CC and Company Dance Complex were at the intersection of Hillsborough Street at Boylan Avenue when a truck that eyewitnesses say was out of control struck and killed a child. I just saw them coming down the street really fast. Um, and you can tell it was not like gas, like they weren't gassing. It was rolling, kind of rolling down the street, and they were kind of freaking out, yelling at people, get out the way. Like, you can tell they were panicking. A handful of people, including first responders, running to stop the truck that towed afloat with the company's youngest dancers. People came up and were helping, like, grab it and slow it down a little bit, but um, it looked like they were trying to slow down when they got to this point. Some people in the crowd say they heard the warnings. The drivers, you can see the people in the truck getting out, like telling people, warning people, get out, get out of the way, we can't stop, yeah, we can't stop. They were screaming, um, you know, the cops were saying get out of the way, they can't stop. Um, I definitely don't think this was like purposeful. We tried to talk to the people seen getting out of the car, which Raleigh police say were occupied by three people. Raleigh police saying in a statement the driver was interviewed, cooperated with detectives and faces several charges. CC and company dance complex mourning the loss of their dancer, saying in part, we are still in shock as we write these words to you, knowing many of our young ones witness this tragedy that is hard to fathom as well. And those charges against 20 year old Landon Glass include misdemeanor death by a motor vehicle and carrying a firearm in a parade. And Raleigh police say the investigation is ongoing. Reporting in Raleigh, Cindy Bate, ABC 11 Eyewitness News. And not the way that you want your Saturday morning to go for anyone involved. Uh, Cindy, again, thanks so much. We have a Mayor Marianne Baldwin releasing a statement today saying, quote, today started off with such joy. The Raleigh Christmas Parade brings so uh, brings smiles to so many faces. Uh, my heart was so full and now it aches for the young girl hit in a tragic accident on the parade route. I'm praying for her, her family and our community. Governor Roy Cooper also sharing his condolences in a tweet saying Kristen and I are devastated about the tragedy at today's Raleigh Christmas Parade. In a joyous season on what should be a happy day, we instead mourn for this family and their friends as we keep them in our prayers. And that incident happening in front of hundreds of people just simply wanting to enjoy their Saturday morning. Tonight, parents, parade goers and children are all left to process this tragedy. I spoke with therapist Ashley Gilmore earlier and she has some tips for you or your family or your friends on how to react to this level of trauma and how to help kids through this difficult time. This type of trauma impacts um, the mental, the physical, the emotional, all of the, the entire wellness wheel. And so um, there may be some people tonight who can't sleep. There may be some people right now who are just numb to everything that's happening. So the emotional capacity of this is just extremely heartbreaking and devastating. For parents who are unable to see someone in this moment, I think asking their child how they're feeling, um, invoking all kind of open-ended questions. Are you okay? Um, tell me what you're feeling. Um, how can I support you? How can I help you? Give the child the opportunity to name what they're feeling, to express what's hurting, what's sad about this entire incident. 
um, and to understand that there is some trauma that will that is accommodating this. 